Hey everyone, it's Derek J here from Free Talk Live, the Bitcoin Group, and Bitcoin Talk Show. Today I am purchasing a plane ticket with Bitcoin on CheapAir.com. This is my first time doing it, but I've heard from friends that it's very easy. So I'm at the website now, I've picked out the plane ticket I want, and I'm at the pay stage. So this is what the screen looks like. It's got the payment info area where it asks if I'm paying by credit card, cash at a Western Union, and another option which looks familiar to me, the Bitcoin logo. And if you mouse over the logo, it has a brief explanation of that Bitcoin, Litecoin, and even Dogecoin is a digital currency that enables instant payments over the internet. So it's very easy to use and I'm going to try it out right now. There's a little brief I understand my itinerary, blah blah blah, I'll be taken to a Bitcoin payment and here we go. A little warning about uh, what I can and can't bring on the plane. Okay, so here's what I've got. Bitcoin payment. Your purchase will be finished after we receive payment. The total is $233.73. So it's converted that to Bitcoin and told me to send exactly 0 0.9230 Bitcoins to the address that is printed right there. I can do that any number of ways. I can copy and paste this address into a web wallet and send that way. But today what I'm going to do is use a phone wallet. I've already got mine open. I'm using the blockchain wallet today. When I'm ready to send, I open up my Bitcoin wallet. I scan the QR code that's on the screen. That grabs all the digital information that I need. It even puts in the amount that I'm expected to pay. And as you can see, it says that 0 .0, uh, 0 0.923 Bitcoin is 261 US dollars. It says that the price here on the screen is 233. That could be because of some pr price discrepancy about what the value of a Bitcoin is. Th there are different exchanges that value Bitcoin at different prices. And it seems that Cheap Air uses Coinbase. They're just different uh, exchanges, so you know they're roughly about the same. What's important is that the number of Bitcoin is the same. So 0 0.923, 0 0.923. And so when I'm ready, I'm going to click Send. And even faster than my phone notified me that I had sent the Bitcoin, Cheap Air received the Bitcoin. So I got notification that the payment went through. I'm a little confused about what to do at this stage. I'd like to see some sort of welcome screen, something that um, gives an overview of my itinerary, uh, something to indicate, even maybe an email, just to indicate that um, you know payment has been successful. It does say that the, the money was sent, but now how do I print my <laughs> Um, plane ticket. I'm sure that'll be sent to me in email. But as you can see, paying with Bitcoin was very easy. Uh, it involved no private information from my credit card, uh, no private information going over Wi-Fi, and it's the currency of freedom in a lot of ways. You can take it with you internationally and spend it around the world on the internet or in real life. So the ways that you can use Bitcoin are growing every day. Thanks for sharing this today with me. Peace.